The first product on our list is Pioneer AVHW 4500 NEX. Packed with features like Weblink and Miracast, Apple AirPlay and Android Auto support, and the ability to play FLAC files for high-resolution audio, the Pioneer AVHW 4500NEX will make your time in the car more enjoyable, even if you're stuck in traffic. This product is available on Amazon for $453. This product has average 4.6 stars from more than 151 customer reviews, a customer said. Awesome head unit. No regrets buying this Pioneer AVHW 4500NEX. I have an Apple phone and it pairs wirelessly as soon as I turn on the truck. This replaced an older Pioneer so installation was basically unplug and replug the connectors. Maybe a 10-minute job. The customizable splash screen is great. My wife loves that it shows our favorite wedding picture when it boots up. HD radio and DVD player are fantastic. Dual camera is just like my older unit. Once you have had a front camera it is like a necessity. Customizable display light intensity is very nice. Sound quality is great even with the 14 year. Another happy customer said, works great loving it so far. The second product in our list is JVCKWR930BT. The JVCKWR930BT can help you get decent sound when on a tight budget. It has a well laid out interface for simple operation while driving, and the ability to mix the colors of the front panel illumination give it a pretty sleek look. This product is available on Amazon for $87. There are 393 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 4.5 stars, a customer said. This JVC does everything I wanted and with more bang for the buck than other similar receivers. Installed in a 2004 Tundra and could not be more pleased with the purchase. Bluetooth is clear with the ability to boost the volume as most connections are a little lower volume. Tons of equalizer settings and the ability to custom set to what you want. The phone calls come through the vehicle speakers and the mic is clear and you do not sound like you are in a bowl. You also get the ability to change the display color and brightness for. Another happy customer said. Please note, the unit name in this listing, KWR930BT, is the Australian model, but I received, and intended to buy, the KWR930BTS, which is the US model. I got tired of using an FM transmitter to play Spotify in my 2000 Toyota Camry La. This head unit satisfies all my expectations. My only real gripe is that the unit is crooked after installation and does not sit flush. This might be due to a wire resting under one side or other installation error, but I doubt it since the bracket installed perfectly. Installation was super easy. You will need a Metra 70-1761. The next one is Pioneer AVH 3400 NEX. The Pioneer AVH3400NEX has a motorized 7-inch touchscreen that allows even those with a single DIN opening to get a large display in their vehicle. Conveniently, the home video is customizable, so you can quickly access all of your most used apps. This product is available on Amazon for $393. This product has average 4.4 stars from more than 79 customer reviews, a customer said. I love this unit. I put it in my 1997 GMC Sierra and could not be happier. My only real gripe was having to customize my dash to bring forward the mic, USB, and aux, ports. I also installed a rocker switch to fool it into thinking the parking brake was on. Not difficult just time consuming. All the features of this unit work great and I recently added 6x9 speakers and a 10 inches subwoofer with an independent amp for both. It all works fantastic. The next product in our list is Sony Zave X5000. The Sony Xava X5000 blends in seamlessly with the dashes of most vehicles, making it look like you have a factory stereo installed, rather than an aftermarket head unit. 
Its display is bright and clear, and can be read easily even on sunny days. The price is around $398. Check out the product link in the YouTube description. There are 488 reviews which average rating is 4.4 stars for this product. A customer said. Sony XAVAX 1000 review and install on 2007 Hyundai Elantra. I was a little skeptical of this unit and have always been skeptical of aftermarket units as I think they're ugly, of terrible quality and a pain in the A** to use. This Sony unit checks all the boxes plus more. The interface is beautiful, simple and easy to navigate unlike most aftermarket units. Apple CarPlay works seamlessly and flawlessly. Connecting a backup camera was easy and my unit looks so good mounted into the license plate light, all links for what I needed are listed below. I was worried I wouldn't. The number 5. Alpine ILXW650. If your dash doesn't have enough space for a traditional model, the shallow mount chassis of the Alpine ILXW650 is the solution to your problem. Though measuring just 2 minus 13 16 inch deep, it still has a 7 inch touchscreen and a powerful built in amplifier. The price approximately $284. This product is rated with 4.3 stars from 270 customer reviews. A customer said. Alpine started the first in car play and they don't disappoint. This is a hidden gem among them and if you don't mind the non-wireless car play then this gets you great sound and functionality for less than any other company is currently offering. I love that it has wired backup camera inputs. I added one just because it had it and bought another one for a different vehicle. The next product is Sony Mex N5200BT. The Sony Mex N5200BT boasts a two-zone dynamic illuminator with integrated sound synchronization functionality, which gives you the choice of displaying thousands of different color combinations that pulse in perfect step to the beat of N music. The price is around $199. Check out the product link in the YouTube description below. This product is rated with 4.2 stars from 143 customer reviews. A customer said. I only have one complaint. I'm going to need to spend some time with the manual is all. There is a really annoying loud beeping feature when the radio turns off. I went through the radio menu and found a beep option that I turned to off, which stopped the radio from beeping with nearly every single button press, but there is still a full volume, beep bop beep bop, sound each time I turn off the radio. Surely there is a way to turn that off. Surely. Anyway, other than that, the radio is exactly what I expected from this. The next one is. Ianon Ga 2176. If you prefer a head unit that runs the full Android OS, in this case Pi, rather than a streamlined version, the Eonon GA2176 is a worthy option. It boots up quickly, has the ability to use online and offline maps, and supports backup camera connectivity. The price is around $210. Check out the product link in the YouTube description below. There are 71 customers have reviewed this product, the average rating is 3.8 stars. A customer said. The company is easy to contact, the interface is intuitive, and the apps are useful. I am using the Torque Pro app for $5 along with the V0056 Bluetooth OBD2 sensor for the picture with the gauges. I will never buy a single DIN head unit again, this double DIN head unit touchscreen is responsive and easy to use. I am so happy that I have a large touchscreen radio in my truck. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.